Hello and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we're going to take a closer look at one of the most talked about multi-role fighter jets in recent times are the CAC, Pack JF-17 Thunder. Whether you're an aviation enthusiast, a military analyst, or simply curious about cutting-edge technology, this jet has something fascinating to offer. Let's get into the full details. Introduction to the JF-17 Thunder The JF-17 Thunder, also known as the FC-1 Xialong in China, is a fourth-generation, lightweight, multi-role combat aircraft jointly developed by China's Chengdu Aircraft Corporation CAC, and Pakistan Aeronautical Complex Pack. The JF in its name stands for Joint Fighter. This project was initiated to meet Pakistan's need for a modern yet affordable aircraft that could replace its aging fleet of fighters like the Mirage 3, Mirage V, and the Chinese-built F-7. The first prototype took to the skies in 2003. And after several rounds of improvements and testing, the jet was inducted into the Pakistan Air Force PAF, in 2007. Since then, it has become a vital part of Pakistan's aerial defense strategy, design and specifications. Let's begin with the design. The JF-17 features a sleek, aerodynamically efficient airframe. It is built to be agile, fast, and flexible for various mission profiles. Key specifications, length, 14.9 meters, wingspan, 9.45 meters, maximum speed, Mach 1.6, about 1,975 kilometers per hour, service ceiling, 55,000 feet, range, approximately 2,037 kilometers, with drop tanks, combat radius, around 1,352 kilometers. The aircraft is powered by a Russian Road 93 turbofan engine, providing a good balance of speed and thrust. It also supports aerial refueling in later variants, allowing extended range during missions. Avionics and Cockpit Features The JF-17 features a modern glass cockpit equipped with multifunction displays, MFDs, a hands-on throttle and stick, HOTAS, system, digital fly-by-wire controls, in Block 3, a helmet-mounted display, HMD, in advanced versions, a KLJ-7 radar for multi-target tracking and beyond visual range combat, full support for electronic countermeasures and jamming pods. These features give the pilot high situational awareness and advanced control over weapons and flight systems weapons and combat capabilities. The JF-17 is designed to handle a wide range of weapons. One 23mm twin-barrel cannon air-to-air -air missiles like the PL-5E, PL-12, and SD-10 air-to-ground weapons, including laser-guided bombs and GPS-guided munitions. Anti-ship missiles capability to launch the RAD air-launched cruise missile which is believed to be nuclear capable, with a maximum external payload of 3,600 kilograms. The JF-17 is more than capable of performing air superiority, ground attack, reconnaissance, and interception missions. Variants. Block 1, 2, and 3. The jet has evolved over time through various blocks. Block I, focused on basic combat needs and initial operational capability. Block 2, introduced aerial refueling, improved avionics, enhanced durability, and better radar. Block 3, represents a significant leap, including, active electronically scanned array, ACER, radar, infrared search and track, IRST, advanced HMD, better stealth characteristics, integration with 5th generation weapons systems. Block 3 positions the JF-17 as a 4.5 generation fighter, competing with more expensive jets like the Gripen or even the F-16. Operational use and global interest. The Pakistan Air Force is the main operator with over 150 JF-17S in active service. The jet has been deployed in real combat scenarios, including the 2019 skirmish with India, where JF-17S played a central role. The jet's low cost, ease of maintenance, 
and customizability have attracted international interest. Countries like Nigeria and Myanmar have already inducted the aircraft, while several others especially in Africa, Asia, and the Middle East they have shown serious interest. Why the JF-17 matters In an era where air superiority often comes with a massive price tag, the JF-17 offers a compelling alternative. It's cost-effective, highly capable, and adaptable, making it ideal for countries looking to modernize their air forces without spending hundreds of millions of dollars per aircraft. More importantly, the JF-17 marks a significant step in Pakistan's defense self-reliance, as it is now being produced and upgraded domestically by the Pakistan Aeronautical Complex. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more military aviation content. Let me know in the comments what aircraft you'd like to see featured next. Until then, take care and see you in the next video.